Hi everyone, I'm, I'm Nick Park. Uh, I'm here today to build some planters for the, the Loving Food Truck here in Stirling. Uh, this, this project is part of the Transition Stirling Toolshed project uh, and from that we're going to be building planters out of pallets and repurposed wood and we're going to be using tools that are all available through the tool shop itself within Stirling. Uh, so this, this project's been set up for anyone who wants to get involved in DIY and build them things themselves uh, and we've got lots of tools available for anyone to use and lots of know-how for anyone who wants to know how to use it. Uh, so I just want to introduce my two lovely workers today. So we've got Mary and Debbie who um, heard about this heard about this event through the Transition Sterling Facebook page and through word of mouth uh, and they've come today to help me build some planters. Um, yeah, so we're going to crack on and get it all started. Right, I'm just going to really quickly talk you through the tools that we're going to use, which are all tools that came from Transition. Um, so firstly, I've, I've broken these pallets up myself, um, but there is a pallet breaker available from Transition, which is a special type of crowbar for ripping these apart. But of course, with the nature of breaking pallets, it, it can leave you kind of sharp bits of wood and sticking out nails and stuff. So I decided to do that myself, um, and I hope just to make sure that there's no kind of uh, accidents or anything going on here. We've got the drill here, which is, I mean, these are all from Transition Sterling. This is a drill. Uh, and these here are things called impact drivers, which are like drills, but they're a lot more powerful. They're designed purely for driving driving screws in, so they do it with a real speed. Um, yeah, they're very powerful bits of kit, and they're amazing for this, because, because of the speed it drives the screw in, uh, it doesn't damage the wood to the same extent that these would. Uh, and lastly, the, the all-important saw, um, which is, this one's a little, bit, a little bit past it, but it will do the important stuff. Uh, and because of the, the design that we've worked on, there won't be much cutting involved. It's just going to be sticking it together and screwing it down. Uh, this here is, is um, uh, a bolt kit that I borrowed from Transition. So all I'm going to be using this is the, the drill bits and the little drill thing here. But these are useful things that have got loads of different uses. But due to the nature of these pallets, they're going to be nice and basic and simple and easy to build. And of course, a bag of screws. Fantastic. So we're going to... Um, quickly talk about why I'm using pallets. Um, one of my favourite things about pallets is that they're all entirely uniform. So most pallet slats are, are one metre in length and these, these ones here that I've broken are all, are all exactly one metre in length. Um, and the, the beauty of that is that you can use their uniformity to your advantage. So you have one metre as your length and 50 centimetres as your width just to minimise the amount of cutting and make sure it's as easy to do as possible. Um, so first of all, after these, after these are split, the next job is to cut the side slats. So I've worked out, because the plant is here, they're going to need to be about 50 centimetres high. Uh, that's mainly because this is in a, a publicly accessible park where there's dogs and there's walkers and we just want to minimise any kind of possible interference with the beds. Um, yeah, and make them, make them nice and square. So the first job for this is going to be just to measure them up and cut it and then we can start screwing it together. So, um, just a quick notice, when we're cutting these, it's important to, uh, to get someone to hold the other end if possible, and as you'll see... Right, so, uh, to just, just to talk you very quickly through the design that we're doing, um, as I said earlier, we're using the size of the pallets to their advantage. So this left here is going to be a metre, and this left here is just going to be 50 centimetres, so we only have to cut them once. The, the, the first job you have to do is cut your uprights, which, uh, which are these. These are all taken from a previous project with Transition. This is more recycled wood. But we're cutting these to 50 centimetres, and they will simply sit as the uprights like that. And our, our first job, once we've done this, is just going to be to make the size of the planters. So we're going to simply screw this together like this. So yeah, to, uh, just to make the size of our planters, it's going to be very simply five of these slats stuck together on here to make an upright that's roughly 50 centimetres. Uh, one, one of the other good things with, uh, with building planters out of pallets is that with, with pallets it's quite useful to have a really little gap in between your slats of wood just to ensure that there's good drainage, there's good air circulation to stop any of the ground going mouldy or getting waterlogged and, and that's one of the bonuses of pallets is that they're often a little bit warped, a little bit chipped and instead of throwing them away you can find a really useful use for them and you can turn them into planters. So, uh, so Mary just asked me the really good question about the treatment of pallet wood. Um, yet another good thing about pallets is that they are already treated when we come to use them. Um, when, when you look at a pallet on the big square dividing blocks it will have a stamp which will have, it will have numbers on it but it will also have letters on it which will be HT 
FT or PT. Um, so this means it's been treated with either heat treated, fungicide or pesticide. And when it comes to pallets for growing food, it's important you only use the ones that have been heat treated. Um, with, with, in, in the EU, we rarely use pallets that are uh, fungicide or pesticide treated, but it's just another thing to look forward to, to, to look out for when you're using them, just to make sure they haven't had any unnecessary chemicals added to them. Uh, and th these ones here have all been heat treated, um, and now we're just about to stick them together. So, uh, with these impact drivers, it's quite good to get one person to hold it. So if you just rest that, yeah. So these, these impact drivers, uh, as I said earlier, uh, they're like screwdrivers but they're a lot more powerful. They're only designed for putting, for putting screws in. Oh, I get that. Professional! <laughs> Excellent, so this, this is what we're aiming for here, this is going to be the, the front of the planter. Um, as I said earlier, it really doesn't matter too much if there's little bits of air here. Um, it can actually be quite beneficial for the planter just to have a through throw there. Uh, and also, when, when you're building with pallets, it's kind of unavoidable that you're going to have this kind of rustic, thrown together look. But um, that's one of my favourite things about pallets, is that every time you look at it, you think this was saved from a bonfire, this has been recycled, you know. So it all adds to the charm of building with these things. So um, when, when we're laying out these out, it's, it's quite important just for, for stability and for the way that it looks, just to try and make sure that it's nice and parallel here, just to make sure that when we get to the end, we haven't got a piece at a slant and, and of course it, it does look better and it will be much stronger. Just, so. just most importantly to, put, uh, to point out, for, for safety's sake, it's just important to keep the road as clear as possible. So bits like this, just to save yourself from tripping over them, just to move them out of the way. And um, yeah, save yourself an injury sides on the structures really taking place uh, and now it's, it's going to be pretty much strong enough that we can flip it over without having to hold it together and just screw it all down and it will be wonderful. Okay so, so here we're just seeing one of the things that you get with pallet wood. Um, this, here's, this here's a knot which will be, it will both be hard to screw into and there's quite a high likelihood of it splitting. So what you want to do is you just want to move your screw up to just a little bit the other side of the knot. You can see here, this is the main knot here and here. So if we put this up here. So, uh, so this, this is what we're looking for here. So you can see it's, it's nice and strong and uh, it's incredibly lightweight. But importantly, we haven't put a bottom on it. As you can see here, this is just, just for ease, uh, ease of use. Uh, I've, I found when I'm building planters that I very rarely put a bottom on them because it can lead to it getting rotten wood and, and the soil can get more, more moist and also with the bottom, without the bottom they're a lot easier to move. So here we are with the, uh, the, the finished product here. Um, one, one of the good things that I find about raised beds is that they're very easy to move. Um, I've chosen this location here just because it's next to the Loving Food Cafe but also because uh, it will get lots of sunlight and so it will be growing lots of light to grow stuff. But the benefit of this is if you want to grow something like salads that like shade, you can move it to another side of the garden before you fill it with compost. Uh, so they're just really flexible and really useful. Uh, Mar Mary's just asked me about painting them. Um, I don't actually paint them myself, but the one thing that would be an idea is just to give this a wee sand, because they're, they're quite prone to splinters. Right, so we're here by the, the finished product. I just want to thank uh, Mary and, and Debbie for coming along and helping me. Uh, if, if anyone wants to find out more about this, we've got the, the Transition Sterling Facebook page, all of the tools are available from the tool shed. Uh, and I'd just like to see if, if you guys are feeling inspired. Oh yes, I think we're back. Excellent. And if you need any help at all, don't hesitate to get in touch with us and give me pointers and explain how it's done. Thank you.